Alright YouTube, I haven't done one of these in a while, it's a, another gun review on my first rifle that I bought. As you can tell by looking at it, it's a 1903 Springfield and it's a gun I thought I would never own. It, sadly it is sporterized but it's really not that bad of a sporteration job. It's original stock. As you can see back here, overall it's not really that bad of a sport job, but I want to put it back into original shape as much as possible. It is probably my favorite, well it is my favorite rifle because I thought I would never own it. Never thought I'd own one of these in my life. And I thought, if I did get the chance to own one of these, I would pay out the ass. And so, it's not like my Mose and the Gaunts where I had them bought for me by my mom. I uh, bought this myself. I got money for my 18th birthday, sold my Xbox to put a down payment for this at the pawn shop. And, well, the rest is history. It's mine now. I just got it today. It is in beautiful shape. I don't know if you could. I don't know how clear this is going to come out, but. Oh, shit. Oh, well. See if I can get a picture of it in the light. Anyway, that's blah 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 US Springfield Armory model 1903. And then over here in the barrel, this is what I found out today. I don't know if this is really what it means, but in this barrel stamping on here. It's not, I know it's not going to show up on the camera, but it says 10-13, so I'm guessing this was barreled in October of 1913, so I guess it would be pre-World War One. And what made me pick this Springfield out of the two others they had there, the other ones were shitty sporterizations. The stock were all chopped and the rear sights were missing, scope mounts, some of the barrels were cut down to about right here to make a truck gun. This still has the rear sight, the volley sight, it flips up still like that, that's good. Still got the front sight, of course. Like I said, the stock isn't that bad. The bolt is just amazingly slick. I love the bolt on this gun. It's about as smooth as my Mauser. Can't wait to get ammo for it. I'm probably going to be shooting it this weekend. And the, bar the barrel on it is what also got me to uh, buy this rifle. The barrel on this rifle was just absolutely beautiful. And when you know, or it's just this might be a better view. The barrel is bright and beautiful. And for a barrel that's about 98 years old or something like that that's not bad at all 
that's really not bad magazine cutoff switch is right here you flip it into the center and it will allow you to release the bolt the bolt as well kinda like a Mauser if you have a Mauser you can see the similarities in it all in all it's probably my favorite rifle that I have one second it's probably most favorite rifle I have and I know it's going to be the fa most favorite rifle I have because I've always wanted one of these. It's my dream rifle. And the price wasn't that bad either. The rifle itself was $350. And with all the stupid California fees and all that bullshit, it was about 400 bucks. The action on it, like I said, is extremely smooth. Trigger pull on it's nice. It's really nice. It's nice and uh, crisp. I like it. It's not too extremely hard. And it's just a nice rifle. I hope to get an original stock. I have. I was looking through my dad's garage of, today actually, and I found a bayonet to one of these things. So that saves me money on buying a bayonet after I put this in an original stock. Which I might do whenever I get $200 to buy a stock. All in all, it's a great rifle. Probably next Friday or probably on Saturday or something, I'll upload a video of me shooting it when I get some 30 out six. All right, chicken pot pie out.